Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey Nose Friday weekend kickoff edition. By God, can't wait. It's 80% chance of rain here the next two days, but I don't care because I get to sleep late and drink. Got a special guest with me, man. Somebody that's been with me for a good while and and uh, one of the most friendly, knowledgeable, I'm going to put him on the spot real quick, uh, friends that I have in scotch and bourbon. And uh, just going to just quit wasting time, bring him on. Everybody, welcome Daniel H. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, Oh, it's great, man. It's Friday. We're here together. We've got some great stuff you've sent me to try, so yeah. I, I couldn't be any more happier if I did. I'd have to sit on my hands so I don't wave at everybody. Whoa. So, Whoa. So here I go. Man. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm so thrilled to, to do this with you. I, I didn't really want to do it any other way after after all the, the great effort and, and work and money you put into this for us and for me, and so I just didn't want to do it, but with you, so... Uh, yeah, man. Thanks for doing this. Thanks oh, for coming welcome, on. Man. I enjoy it, man. I'm do it. Yeah, yeah. man. So, uh, Daniel, talk about the two we chose for today. Well, we I sent you. I don't. I think uh, you know we we talked about doing several single malts. I think I sent you eight of them. Uh, yeah. But today we're going to do Balcona's Mirador, which is a kind of a, the most Scotch like uh, single malt that uh, Balcona's makes. And then we're also going to go to Taiwan uh, with some Cavalon Vigno Barrique. Uh, from 2017, um, and it's pretty young, but we'll get into that as far as uh, how big and how flavorful it is and the color that's on it and why it's like that for being so young. But, uh, yeah, these are two of my favorites that I have, Marty, and so, you know, I only share these with the people I like, so I hope you like them. Yeah, well, um, you know, I, I've i already, uh, I can I'm be honest. I'm in your case, though. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I just, you know, I've already nosed of several, and I think, yeah. Me and you busted open the uh, the spring bank, and I think something else didn't we? Glenn, the Glen we broke open in the spring bank, yeah, yep. and, and those were yeah, the yeah, those knocked that my opinion. socks off, yeah, for yeah. sure. So, which one of these you want to get into first? Well, let's start with uh, let's start with the Balcones, man. Uh, that okay. one is going to be a little bit more uh, kind of what your traditional Scotch is. Um, it's it's going to be kind of fruity. It's going to have Kind of those traditional scotch notes to me it's mm. i don't want to say too much i want to see what you think about it but yeah that's that's god man that's a that's like a like a lemon lime zest yeah and to me that's i kind of get like almost like a like a toasted barrel kind of like you would get with um like a bourbon that's toasted or a rye that's toasted yeah it's just a lift there isn't it it yeah. just kind of kind of hits you hit your nose as you as you stop inhaling a little bit it just kind of hits you with that puff of a barrel. Yeah, I get that. That's cool. Never thought about it like that, but yeah. Legs but, on her. Fucking God. <laughs> That's cream. I, I, I just, it's killing me. I, I just, I know how good this is going to be. Yeah, this is, this is so good, man. Like, uh, this is, uh, this is actually the 2020 edition. Uh, this one was one of the more popular of the three I think they've done. I think this is the third batch. Uh, they usually do them by year. They don't put like a batch number on it. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. That's Man. cool. But yeah, I'm getting like tropical off the nose. I'm getting marshmallow on the nose, lemon lime zest, like you said. I mean, there's a little I don't, bit know a, I don't know if that, I, I don't know if I'm confusing the toasted note we're getting with maybe a dash of cinnamon. Yeah, I'm getting the cinnamon too. I was just about to say that. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm not that, sure. That, that nose of yours actually works, huh? Oh, well, you know, I can sit here and let one and see what happens, but, uh, you know. But now this this is man this is so good on the nose it just got up. that's just now just has Bobby uh, Bourbon Battalion has he tried this one has he had this no, one he got a couple different ones uh, in fact uh, I've got this one boxed up for Adam he'll be getting his uh, of this pretty soon um, he got this one and he also got Adam got this one too which is a store pick um, oh, hold on a minute let's see here. This is a store pick of it, and it's sixty-four percent, I think. There you go, and it's the single malt. But it's, it's huge. It's unbelievably good. Oh, look at the color of that, man. Oh yeah. And what's crazy is that uh, I wish I had old piece of paper in here, but I don't. Um, this one is uh, forty-eight months old. Once they start hitting that age, um, there's something that kind of special that happens with Balcones at that age. Now this is the bottle of the Mirador right here. Okay. Yeah. And so. 
Now I've only had this bottle about a about a month, and so for it to be that low already for me <laughs> is uh, hitting it a little too often than I should. Ah. But that's the way it goes sometimes. So that's usually it takes me a while to work my way through a bottle. Well, that's good. That's like me. You know, I, when I've got, you know, several, then when I start getting a little bit below halfway, I'm like, okay, can I find it again? And do I want it again? And if both, if, if, if I can find it again, yes, I'll go ahead and hit it again. But if I don't think I can find it, I may just back off and go to something else for a while, you know, cause yeah, I just, sure. that's just the way it works. But yeah. now this, this has opened up real nice, man, to a really, really nice fruit, fruit, cinnamon, Almost like I don't know. If, I don't. I don't want to call it candy. That's not right. I don't. I don't, I don't want to. Are you getting any like uh, black tea notes on it? Maybe like maybe, uh, maybe. Lim, li, like like sweet tea, lemon, lemon and yeah. I, they, I get that, maybe that lemon lime is more what what you're talking about that I'm yep. getting. Like that lemon lime zest is more maybe more the tea note that you're getting, and that, and yeah, I can see that for sure. Absolutely. Now, do you do any water in this at all? Ever? Yeah, so I mean, it's done. I've done it both ways. Uh, I, I don't have any water in it at the moment, but uh, yeah, I have my my dropper ready to go. So if, yeah, I've, if I've, 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 yeah, but this is neat, straight up neat. I just all right. I can't stand it, man. I got to go in for it. I've already had some. All right, cheers, man. I'm going in. <laughs> Damn, dude, dude, that is a consistent. Uh, big red cinnamon. Okay, blast yep. from start to finish. Yep, and it, it slowly dissipates as as it goes away. It doesn't just disappear; it just slowly goes away. Man, yep. that is. <sighs> and you don't even notice the heat on this one. No. Are you getting any burst? I know that's probably your first uh, taste of whiskey. Yeah, I got to go back. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a go second, ahead. then I'm going to hit it again. But yeah, I, I'm going to do this too, D. I'm going to put just a little bit more in this one with just a drop of water and see. Yeah, water, this one takes water really well, man. And it's, it's like, it's again, it's just like a normal uh, scotch. So I think, um, you know, barrel proof bourbons, you can add water to them, but I think they tend to shine more, uh, more at barrel proof uh, than they do with, with water. Uh, but yeah. with, with scotch, I think it's the other way. I think whenever you get the, the barrel proof scotches or the, what they call cast drink, they're all called cast drink. Uh, yeah. I think with a little bit of water, it just really opens it up and it kind of perfumes it more than anything else. So yeah, that knocked it down. That knocked that knocked that that knocked that uh, slight edge off of black it. Black pepper, black tea note way down. I mean, it's just all, it's all you know, basically now just a floral flush of yeah, fruit. Uh, this just... is 36 months old, and I'll read you the back of it. Uh, well, no, I won't because it's got tasting notes on it. So I'll do that afterwards. No, that's fine. I'm going to go in for another one on the first without the water. Dude, that's even kill, man. That 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 cinnamon rub. And it, it, cinnamon, probably not a fair note, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah. As, it, as it goes down the back end, it's just a constant, you know, zipper. Like I said, you know, z of the heat start to finish, and then it slowly dis dissipates down yeah, down your palate. As you the, that must have been the zipper on your thumbnail, buddy. Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, that's where I get that. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Man. But hey, no, did that you, did you add water on that or not? I, no, I've got two now. This one oh, has okay. a drop in it. This one does not. I've not touched yeah. the one with the water. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Now, before you get into that, did you get any more tropical notes on that this time around, or that would be more on the palate? And this is my experience of it. I mean, you might get something completely different. I mean, me and Zach Andrews have gotten different things on this one. Uh, me and Bobby have gotten different things on some of the ones that I've sent him. So I'm getting the more I go back to it, the more that cinnamon note. Yeah. It's, it's taking it, and I love that. I, but I'm here's what I'm thinking. Since I dropped the water in the second glint, I think it's going to downplay the cinnamon now. It will a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. It'll go back to some of that uh, cream soda, creamy uh, note that you were talking about earlier. All right. Yeah, that that is that. that yeah, that that took the black pepper tea note way down. Hmm. 
Oh, I can drink this all day, bro. Oh my god, that totally that took that that took that explosion of that that big league chewing gum that was here down to about right here, but it's still yeah. even throughout the the, the palate, start yeah. to finish. No doubt, it's still even throughout. That's just. Whew. Any, are you getting any peaches? I don't know if it's peaches. Let me. Uh, it, <clears throat> it might be more of a pear. I can see that. Uh, yeah, that might be more of a pear for me. I, and, but that <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not peaches by any means, you know. I mean, but, I can. No, that's I, that was solid, dude. That was whew, that's interesting. That that I love seeing what that little drop of water can do to a scotch. I just it's yeah, drop, is, drop a couple more in it, uh, Marty. Okay, and see what happens. So I think uh, you just adding one or two drops, add a few more. That might um, liven up those peaches. Like some of these single moths that Balcones does, uh, most of them are like brown sugar heavy and uh, black tea heavy. But some of them yeah. like the lineage and like this one will, will pop up with some tropical notes like peaches or, you know, some apricot, maybe like some guava or whatever. You know, it just kind of depends on how your palate picks that kind of stuff up, I guess, though. So, Oh, dude. Oh. Yeah, that 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 peach note. Yeah, it's more. You're right. It's more of a peach than a pear. And the water brought it out a little bit more. Just a little, a little bit more yeah. water. Because earlier, whenever I dropped my my bit of water in there, I probably added four drops to it or so. So oh. good shit, isn't it? Oh my god, it'd make you tap your foot. Mm -hmm. Whew, that is solid. Now, how much? How much is it? Just curious, in in your area, how much is a bottle of that? About ninety bucks. That's very reasonable for well, something that good. Well, you know, the thing about it is, is um, that's a that's a one you know limited release. So um, you know, I think it was about seventy to eighty. Um, and so secondary on it right now in this area down here in Texas is only about ninety dollars. It is harder to find though, but um, I know where plenty of them are. But um, yeah, but well, I, 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 this is there. one of those. This is one of those I'll have to put up against that spring bank. Was yeah. that, is that the 10 or 12? That's the 12-year-old. Oh, That's my God. Old. Yeah. I saw the 10 in the store here uh, earlier in the week, and I was like, Daniel, I got to come in. Is that it? And I was like, realized I looked at what, my phone. What was the price on it that you saw? 98, maybe. Something 98? like that. I think, yeah. Jesus. For the 10. Yeah, man. It's been rising like crazy lately, bro. I don't know what it is about Springbank. Uh, or actually, all those Glen Scotias, the Kilcarens have gone up. The... Um, uh, the, or Campbelltown scotches, Glen Scotia. There's only three uh, distilleries in, um, in um, Campbelltown. That's Springbank, Glen Scotia, and um, Kilcarran. Uh, yeah. Springbank's definitely my favorite, uh, but those other two aren't far behind. Damn. So I've got several Kilcarrans and several Glen Scotias. Um, so that, those are some of my favorite notes. I mean, we were talking about it the other night, some of the grapefruit notes, that little Campbelltown font. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's my jam right there, buddy. Yeah, that's I love I love. It's funny though, man. These these that you've sent me, and we've talked about. Some are heavier on the palate than the others, from you know, and then some of these are lighter. But the the, the fruit explosions and stuff from the lighter ones just blow your mind. I mean, it's just right. it's just so good. Yeah, and Ben Ben just mentioned Glen Scotia fifteen, man for sixty bucks, sixty five dollars uh, is kind of what I see it for around here. That's a hard Campbelltown bottle to beat, man. It is so good. It is so good. And it's another 46% or it might be 48%. Oh, okay. Bottle, but I don't have it in here. I have it in my kind of my whiskey room. So, so. this isn't the whiskey room. It's just a spare room. So. Yeah, that's that's, that's the, the, the jump on with Marty stream room. Say that again? I said that's the jump on live with Marty stream room. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is probably going to be where I set up from now on. It's pretty easy. I like it. Looks good. All right, let's talk about the second one. All right, so the second one is from Taiwan. Um, so I don't know, I don't know how many people have sent you Taiwanese whiskey, but there's a first time for everything, I think. So, mm, a little soy sauce. All right, so uh, 
here's the here's the case that it comes in. Really? So yeah, this is an expensive bottle. This is the most expensive bottle I have. Holy shit! Yeah, this is about a two hundred fifty dollar bottle, Morty. So okay, uh, so I'll just put this back and send it back to you. <laughs> no, I already got I already have another one, so it's okay. Okay, good, good. So I don't. Okay, but it has this clasp. Yeah, there we go. It has this clasp on the side. Pretty nice. You. I used to have a Glen Karen carry case like that at one time. And it opens it up. These are its adoption papers right here. So, but um, you can see. Go ahead and pull it out. That you can see how how dark that is. Oh yeah, dude, that's gorgeous. Now this is this is only about five years old. Um, Mighty. Let me let me check. What's it cured in? Say that one more time, bud. What's what 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 are they? I mean, right, tell, so tell me about done, it. These are done in um, Portuguese red wine barriques. Okay. And um, now, something that somebody has been teaching me lately, Zach Andrews. We've been talking about how some whiskeys uh, tend to mature or age faster. Uh, not necessarily to age faster. You can't, really can't age things faster. I mean, that's just gonna. That's. I mean, as far as age is concerned, that's what kind of gives those softer edges to it, uh, instead yeah. of that kind of youthful spiritiness. But but you can mature it pretty quickly if you have what's called an active cask, and that could be a, a very good cask that's uh, first fill or something like that. And these are first fill um, Portuguese red wine barriques. Uh, okay, is, that's what vinho barrique means. It's a it's a wine barrel, but that's in Portuguese. So, but yeah, y'all can see that is crazy yeah. dark, even though I, I barely have it up where you can it's see. It's darker it. than 2 a.m., I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. But this is going to be one of the, the thickest, craziest things ever. But you can get that off the nose. Yeah, that's, and I'll, I'll be honest, I can, I can, if I, this is hard, if it, when I hit that, it takes me a second to realize it's, it's it is what it is. I mean, yeah. it's I've never nosed anything like that before. Yeah. So for me to say, you know, I'm getting this or this, I don't know what I'm getting. All right. So, so this I'm, I'm being be, honest. I'm, this is going to be similar to the Glen Allocky that you had on Tuesday night. Okay. It's going to be kind of in that realm. This is a a couple steps above that. Um, okay. But it's it's going to be on on that kind of kind of uh, panel, I would say. Hey, Bird Ben, I'm sorry, guys. We've kind of ignored the chat. I apologize. Uh, Bird Ben had a question. Oh, Glen Living and Dura. Yeah. Yeah. Those are those are natural casks. Those are those are typically pretty good. Um, they've got Oloroso. They've got bourbon ones. They've even got uh, peated barrels uh, that they do. Um, but they're all, you know, cast strength, uncut, unfiltered bottles. They're all usually pretty dang good. Yeah, so, this is. But they're all very different, too. Yeah, the nose on this is just freaking. God, you, I mean, you're gonna have to give your two cents, dude, because I am having trouble. All right, so I'm getting. I get a lot of uh, like like uh, prune and raisin, deep, rich, dark notes like that. Um, red. Yeah, fruit. I can see the I prune. Get, I get the wine off of it, like the red wine, like a really dark uh, Bordeaux or something like that. Uh, okay. You know, and that's another thing, man. That's something I've been doing recently because I'm still, you know, fairly new to all this. I mean, I've only really been into this stuff for about two and a half years, and so I'm still learning too. Uh, so one of the things I've been doing lately is uh, I've been buying different types of um, fortified wines, whether it's Oloroso or, um, you know, different types of other sherries like Pedro Jimenez or Amontillado. Uh, I've bought uh, some Madeiras. Uh, I've even got a Texas Madeira on its way to try that. Um so I've been trying these different things so that I can get the notes off of some of these scotches and understand where those flavors are coming from. Uh, Portugal is where Madeira comes from, which is where these red wine breaks come from. But I have not been able to find any Portuguese red wine. So I don't really know as far as what we're getting off the cask from this. But I know that all this is a it's a single barrel. So but this scotch here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it your favorite bottle? No, it's up there, but it ain't my favorite. My favorite, okay. probably, um, you know, I don't know, man. Fa fa man, favorite's hard to say. Um, I think I think mood depends on favorites. 
Uh, yeah. there's, days, there's days where, you know, I want an American whiskey. And if I want an American whiskey, I'm probably going to pull for this sucker right here. The American old Carter. Now what, hold on a minute. What is that? Where, let's see. This one's um, batch five. But old Carter, huh? Ooh. I'll have to, I'll have to look that stuff up sometime. Somebody, somebody, somebody. probably knows a little bit about it already. Yeah, and then you got what's the other one there? I see two of them. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the recent one. That's the bourbon ten uh, batch ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, figure mm -hmm. out. Camera's backwards on me over here. That's uh, okay. Yeah, they say that stuff's pretty good. We'll have to look into that. It ain't bad. Then I got all the SMWS bottles back there. Recently joined them. Um, you know, it's something I've been really into because you know it's hard to find you know i'm over here in east texas east texas is not known for its um single malt scotch um uh, availability so um you know joining smws this uh single malt scotch whiskey society uh yeah me uh kind of gain access to a lot of things i've always wanted to try they're all limited edition they're all cast strength and they're all so far have been fire so well, i gotta uh, taste this man i've, not, I've been letting it ride for a minute That is so light, it's heavy. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Uh, it's raisiny. It's spicy. It's got a grassy note to it. You can taste the oak in it. Uh, it's got that little, like, soy saucy type of thing going on. So I I, I, I said that a minute ago. Now, I, this and is, I did, I, this I is really the first whiskey. Tell me if, I, if you don't get it that I've ever gotten celery on. I, 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 yeah, and that's why I, maybe that's what led me to when I know this. Like, this is damn soy sauce. Yeah, that's what my niece calls it, soy sauce. <laughs> so I was like, but no, it's it's like when it when it hits your palate, it's almost like your palate opens up a black hole and it all just goes. Whoa. Oh yeah, and then water that that, that that heavy, you know, that light into heavy. It's just right. but water explodes this. Oh gosh, I could see it separate and it'll get, when it hit. And it'll get it'll get creamy and all that. Now I had about six or seven drops of this one, so I don't know what you just added, but that's, that was a pretty good dash. I may need to. I toned this one down. This is like uh, this is like whiskey concentrate, so it can take water pretty well. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's just a treat, man. If I if I want something big and unique. Oh my God. Dude, that turned to candy. That took, yeah. that really turned to candy with the water. It 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 toned that 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 depression down so much of of the you know the high heat and then down. It really toned it down to where it's like it turned it literally to candy. Almost. My God, dude, that is so good. Ta Taiwan knows what they're doing, man, and it's just those active casts that they use, man. They, I mean, in everything that they do, it is just impressive. Like I, I mean, their um, their distillery looks like a damn laboratory. It's a bunch of people walking around in white coats and super clean and all that other stuff. You know, my God, mm -mm. <sighs> and it just goes on forever, bud. That is really, really good. Hey, Rob, I've got Jason Busey. We got DMC. We got the shits of whiskey, bourbon baller. Let me catch up, guys. Mike Franklin. Uh, who else? Uh, the Samurai, Bourbon. Yes, sir. Uh, Lilith. Hey, Lilith. Sorry I missed you earlier. Uh, Rob M. Cool. Thanks for coming in, Rob. Uh, ben Demon Hunter. Yeah. Awesome guys, thanks for coming in. Me, me, and uh, Daniel been wanting to do this for a few weeks, so we finally got the opportunity. And he had to make all kinds of changes because this is a, I guess I would call this a hot season for what you do for a living. Is that would that be correct? Uh, as far as pairings and things like that? No, 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 no. I mean, as as in barbecue. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean barbecue and you know, kind of getting getting those type of notes. In fact, I mean. There's there's some whiskeys that I've got that I mean it literally tastes like freaking barbecue. I mean they're they're all scotches, man. I mean 
they've got, I mean, it's, you can literally taste the meatiness and the smokiness in it. Uh, and it literally, the sweetness. Um, yeah, you can taste literally freaking ribs in it, man. I mean, it's, it's in, I mean, some of them things are incredible. Now, I don't know if you got any of those, but um, you got, no, you did. You got, you got one of them that's going to be kind of sweet and smoky like that. Uh, that's going to be the SMWS one. Saw it just a second ago. Yeah. Uh, you got time to do it? Can we do this one? Let's do that one. Now, this one's peated. Um, Aha, my thing. Now, do you automatically add water to this one, or you let it ride for a bit? No, no, no. This one, now, this is the first. Here's the SMWS bottle. Uh, that you're about to do. Um, this is the first vatted whiskey they've ever done to where they blended different barrels together. Usually they're all single barrels. In fact, they're all single barrels except for their blendeds uh, okay. the that they do. Yeah. Um, but this was done with Boonahaben and they have uh see if I can you see where it says distillery 10. Yeah. Small uh, batch release. Yes. And so distillery 10 is uh Boonahaben. They have whiskey codes. So all the way up to I think 140 or something like that. Plus, they have grain whiskeys and other things. They even do bourbons. Um, but oh they've got God. about 144 distilleries. And so, if you see distillery whatever number it might be, that's the distillery and how to learn what you got. But it says seven-year-old, but there's a lot of older whiskey in this. But as we know, I mean, the youngest yes. whiskey is the age statement. So, But yeah, this was a festival release and it's called Smoky Maritime <laughs> Hit. My God, the smoke on that one. This thing is awesome. Oh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure sure water wouldn't ruin it at this point with that great smoke. Yeah, man, this thing is good. Now, it doesn't necessarily need water. Uh, an ABV on this one is 58.6. Wow. Oh, my Jeez, man. You, but you can smell that smoke, the brown sugar in it, the honey. Oh. I mean, there's even like, like a spice rub type of thing going on in it. That, that, that that's barbecue. That's, that's a, barbecue. That's barbecue, man. On the now, front end, that is nothing but a barbecue sandwich right there. That, no. Holy shit. <laughs> Pardon my French, guys. This is, I've never had the opportunity other than with great stuff Kevin Pierce has to do something like this. This is. On scotch, I, I can just, I can nose this one all day, man. This is this is one of my favorite ones I have. Uh, it's up there. There's a couple of, of the Glen turrets that I have from SMWS that is that probably you know kind of go beyond that beyond this one. But um, and a Ben Nevis that I just got that is outstanding. It's the most explosive tropical finish, and it goes on for about 45 seconds on that one. But uh, I got in after I sent all the samples to you, so you missed out on that one. That's all right. Now this, yeah, the, yeah. The, mm. that might even be a cigar scotch. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the first thing I, I, I just want to, I just about said something really bad, but I caught myself. So if I've been drinking longer, oh, anyway, um, that's, that's got, yeah. All right. So, you ready to tell me what this thing? Uh, uh, I want to hear what your uh, your notes are on it. On this one, hang on. <laughs> I drank too much of it. Uh, I get a lot of a lot of black pepper. Okay. There's a there's a See, see, we're, we've been talking about barbecue and barbecue sauce. It's like yeah. I'm getting, a, I'm getting. I think I might be getting. A, I don't want to say mesquite because I don't know if that's correct. You would, no, but, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's wrong. Uh, I, you know, I, I get some kind of barbecue note. Well, here, here's what. Here's why they call it smoky maritime hit because Boonahaben, uh is right there, kind of by the uh, the the ocean. So it's it gets a lot of that that brine air coming off the ocean into the warehouses. And so it'll get like, so even the unpeated Buna Hobbins okay. will have almost a smoky briny thing to it. Just like a, like I said, a spice, like a barbecue rub that has salt in it. 
yeah, uh, brown sugar and all that other stuff in it. But tell me, this doesn't smell like bananas foster to you. Uh. <laughs> See if you get that. If you can get, me I can on get the smoke. banana note for sure. Banana. I mean, it's more probably more of a banana bread than it is a banana foster. No, yeah, it more. doesn't. It doesn't make me because some of these banana like notes and, and marshmallow notes, I get I always want to throw peanut butter on it. But mm -hmm. this is one of those banana notes. I don't. I don't want to do the peanut butter with it. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. You know, you, you get the sweet and you want the salty. You know, you get you get the the fruity. You know, this doesn't do that. It's yeah. unique in what it is. Man, I might some water to that. Yeah, I'm grabbing it just to see what it does. Oh my. Boy, that that's all banana now. Yeah, Adam, I don't I don't really get Worcestershire sauce on this. Um, he might have been talking about the other one. Okay. That's I don't that's, know. Is that right, Adam? Were you talking about the uh Kev Kevlavin? The Cavalon, yeah. Cavalon. <laughs> yeah. Man, I mess I mispronounced it so many times. The first time yeah, I, I tell you what, I, right now's the perfect time. Hang on. For you to pronounce what I S L A is actually pronounced yeah, the correct yeah. way. Everybody, everybody, um, you know, says Islay or Isla or something like that, but it's pronounced Isla. Just regular old Isla. Just take the S out. Yep, and the Y. <laughs> I guess so. So even though you're uh, calling yourself a good whiskey virgin, uh, there ain't no no laying happening with that bottle. <laughs> Yeah, just Isla. All Get right, on that one, man, dude. Come on, come on, Marty. That's just that's pure joy. That is that is that is all banana now. That's a banana with maybe a just a dash of, of black pepper on the, on the nose. Yeah, and then barbecue. That's, and, that, and that's 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 the uh, yeah. Man, you know, you know what I do whenever, and this is kind of a weird thing that I do all the time. But anytime I take the ribs off after I've, um, you know, for customers, when I've already uh, set the sauce on them and stuff, uh, when I'm taking them off the smoker, I always smell those things just because I, I love that that smell. And that's I'm getting a lot of that just off of this. It just smells like that fresh sauce got baked in or just cooked in to the to the meat, and you just smell that sweetness and that smoke and all that other stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, hey Ben, this is this is a Buna Haben. Uh This is that uh, Smoky Maritime uh, hit from um, that we've talked about. Not the not the slice of heaven that we were talking about the other night. Uh, but this one is uh, SMWS um, Smoky Maritime hit. Um, yeah. So. There you go. But it's a peated Bunahaben, and seven-year-old is the youngest whiskey in this one. It's a vatted bottle. It's not a single barrel like they normally do. Yeah. Uh, so that's the first one we've ever done like that. So. Now, did you find that bottle around you? You may have said it a minute ago, and I was too oh, busy. No, this is uh, uh, SMWS. This is uh, the, the Whiskey Society that I'm a part of. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And, so, and I've got about 11 of those bottles. I've only been a member for about two months now. Um but they just have too many good things, man. I, I mean, you know, I just, I can't, I can't say no to them. So they're just so good, man. Which Ben's okay. going to be getting a package of all these too. So. Oh, cool. So I'm guessing which one is your favorite of the three that we've of done today? Three, of the three, it's probably, it's probably a tie between the Cavalon and the, and the Boone Hobbin. They're just so different. You know, it's hard to, to say which one I prefer more. Just it just kind of depends on if I want if I want to go something super sherried uh, type of whiny type of thing, I'm gonna go the Cavalon. Uh, if I want something kind of peated or something, I mean, man, I'm gonna go one of those Buna Um In fact, Ben and I have talked about this uh, quite a bit. Uh, ben is a Buna a peated Buna Haben fan. Uh, in fact, you'll see on Bunahaben bottles where it says um, Moinia, M-O-I-N-E, if I misspelled that, uh, Ben, tell me. Uh, but Moinia means peated, um, I think, in Scottish Gaelic or whatever the heck it is. 
I don't really know. But they also say sláinte to say cheers too. So, anyway, uh, but yeah, they uh, man, that I tell you what, buddy, that that Bunnahabin peated Bunnahabin man is so yeah. good, and I'd mm-hmm. never had it before SMWS. So I'm kind of new to that. So. It, it, uh. Did you say there was no age? It was seven years and older, correct? Yeah, so it's a blended oh, yeah. malt. It's a blend. Yeah. It's, not, it's not a blended malt. It's a single malt, but it's um, but it's blended cask. Uh, ah. and so it's vatted. So just like what um, you know, we do with bourbon. Um, you know, sometimes they're not they're not all single barrels. So like we get Elijah Craig barrel proof. Um, you know, twelve year old. Yeah. Whatever. And it might be, and they're all the bottles are going to be the same. Well, not all barrels going to be the same proof, but all the bottles are the same proof. They add it all together and figure it out. Same thing with this. That's what they did with this. So, would you show that Japanese or Japanese that that bottle from Taiwan again? The, yeah, the, the yeah, case yeah. and everything. This, yeah, for those just joining in, this is unbelievable. So, uh, so this is the the Cavalon uh, Vino Barique. And it won uh, world's best single malt back in 2016. But you open it up. Yeah, that's just, man, look at the color of that thing. Uh, you know, I like how you said the adoption papers. Yeah, yeah. It feels like the adoption papers as expensive as it is. But, you know, that this isn't even the expensive ones, man. I mean, they've got others that are... Um, a lot more than this. Uh, this is actually one of the cheaper, what's called their Solus line. Um, okay. I did not get. They should have made that label white so you could see how dark the juice was. Yeah, I mean, you can see it, man. It's, yeah. Looks like freaking coffee on here. Yeah, soy sauce. Yeah. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Talking about. Yeah, that is just that's a hitter, dude. That's I understand why you have two of them. Yeah, that's actually I got the other one. Uh, actually I actually got this one on pretty deep discount. Um, it was about one hundred and eighty, hundred and seventy dollars or something like that. Um, the the guy had had it on the shelf for a while, and nobody bought it in my area. And um, Go figure, I was looking at some of the other Japanese and other whiskeys that he had. Was talking to him about it. And he said, you know, I've got a Cavalon Solus back there that you might be interested in. And I said, well, it depends what I said. How much is it going to be? And he said, well, he said it's 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 240 or whatever it was he said. And he said, but I'll give it to you for $30, 30% off. He said, I just want to get rid of it. I've had it for four years. And so <laughs> I said, I said, that's OK. It's OK. I, said, I don't even care which one it is. I'll take it. <laughs> and so. That's um, awesome, you know, man. Brought it home, super excited about it. I mean, they're so hard to find in my area. If you want to get a Solus, they're close to 250, 260 um, already. Uh, if you want to get some of the special casts like the Fino, the Montalato, yeah. they're like $500. Um, so I'm not going to be looking for all that stuff uh, or trying to buy all that stuff. But just for 500 bucks, man, you can get so many other great things. So there's so many good bourbons you can get, even secondary, uh, that I think, I mean, kind of, I would rather have over a Cavalon. So, yeah, I, you know, and something I want to touch on, Daniel, real quick before we run out of time and everything. But we were watching, uh, and I, I don't, I don't want to disrespect him. Say his name. Is it Telex? Yeah, Telex, the whiskey tag. Yep. Yeah, we we were watching him. Was that Tuesday night? Yeah. Okay, we were watching him Tuesday night together, and we were on the phone and and talking. And I watched him do something that I never thought to do that blew my mind. And, and I, I'm going to get Jenny to get me a bottle of it. But I watched him pour a scotch, and we were talking about sherry finishes. Mm-hmm. And he talked about, you know, not, I don't think it was anything smoky or really heavy peated. It was just a good scotch, you know, good scotch. And he's like, so he gets his dropper out and puts out of a, out of a sherry bottle one or two drops of yeah. sherry in it and mm-hmm. works it. And I thought that was one of the coolest. I was like, yep, sherry finish yep. now. You've yeah, there's a, there, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of people uh, that do that. In fact, they'll do it with Madeira or anything else too. And it I does, just thought that was fascinating. You know, yeah, that's something new to me as well. I actually heard about that for the first time about a month ago from a guy from California that was explaining it to me. Now he's got a crazy Scotch collection. I mean, he just buys stuff and sells it on secondaries. Kind of, 
he's actually kind of a dick, to be honest. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, and not, not, most of us don't really like him, but he's okay. Um, but anyways, he is just very narcissistic a little bit, but he, he doesn't know what the heck he's talking about, buddy. He does know what he's talking about. And so he emailed me talking about dropping Madeira into different things and trying it out, even into different rums and things. So, but it was uh, pretty funny. Well, and ben, ben, ben knows who I'm talking about. So yeah. I'm not going to name any names though. Yeah. That's funny. See what DC said on the screen. Try gravy. <laughs> Uh, Dude, this Cavalon, man. I'm telling you. That is something Cavalon else. Cavalon knows what they're doing, man. And they have other solas. And different parts of the country, man, can find them for pretty cheap. Um, you know, there's different, uh, and especially in Canada. I mean, Ben knows this, too. Um, we've got a friend up there named Peter White. He finds these Cavalon solas uh, bottles like this Vigno Barrique for about 180 bucks Canadian. Um, which is only about 150 here, um, or less. If I yeah. saw if I saw them for that, man, I'd buy the shelf. That's that's just so. That's the thing. I, I see it. I don't know it, and I miss it. But see, now this stuff that we've been doing the last couple of weeks with the samples and talking and the, the pictures and stuff you and Bobby send me and stuff. That's how you learn it. Yeah, you know that's that's you know, just just like the whiskey stuff, man. Just like the bourbon. Hey, Kilco, do you know which one um, you had? Was it the sherry or the port? Uh, could have been a bourbon finish or a bourbon aged. Or was it the Vigno Barrique? He just said he tried one down at uh, the Whiskey Vault. Mm. <sighs> mm. Man. Dude, that opens up, man. I That's mean, good. you let that. you can let that sit for just a little bit. Yeah, you can. And it just it just takes on greater life. It doesn't. Oh. Damn. Yeah, this, is one of, this is one of my jams, buddy. Now, there's some right. other ones, man, that um, I didn't send you any of these this time, but I have some Edred Hour, um, cast strength, fully matured and sherry casts. Yeah. That are, that are equally as dark. Um, and it's, it's just, it's just, they're, they're crazy good. And they're actually less, they're about half the price of this one. Um, but man, they're, they're worth 200, 200 plus dollars a piece. They're only a hundred bucks. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's Ben's talking about their, uh, Cavalon rep that they've got that, that lady is awesome. She is, uh, she is, she shares a lot on Instagram too. She's very active in the community. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I need to find her yeah. and follow her on Instagram. Uh, she knows her stuff, man. She doesn't just stick with Cavill on either. I mean, she does all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. That's man. awesome. Yeah. It's, it, I'm getting so much of the, like, just raisin bran off of this right now. Just. I can go. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like you get, it's like smelling the sugar in the raisin bran. You know how that sugar sticks to the, the, the for sure. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. DC, it's not crazy malty. I mean, you're getting a lot of the cask influence on this. Um, I mean, whenever, you know, I think that's one of the things that's uh, super cool about trying the ex bourbon cask over uh wine finish is because you actually get to taste what the um what the distillery actually makes uh you can hide a lot with uh, different finishes um in my opinion and so i actually I, I i do like sherry bombs i like you know madeira bombs and all those vanilla bombs and all that kind of stuff that scotch can produce but one of my favorite things is um you know get, getting a finish versus a, a maturation um, so that we can just kind of get, we could still taste, uh, the distillate and understand, you know, this is what they are. This is what they're about. And so I think that's my favorite thing about scotch is really just exploring that versus, um, the different types of, uh, wine casts that might mask some of the things that uh, are also in there. So, yeah, if that makes sense. No, that, that's. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, it's not very malty at all. But 
Uh, yeah, and uh, definitely Pete definitely hides malt, but you know Pete is part of the malt too. Um, in my and kind of in, in what I feel as well. Um, you know, you you start you know peating that malted barley. Uh, it just, I mean, it could go it could go well or it could go bad. Um, you know, but it just you know it also depends on how long they do it too. Uh, you know. Uh, you know yeah. that at the PPM level, which PPM is Pete's Pete parts per million, yeah. And um, so yeah, it just um, they're all different. Like if you go, you go to Brooklotti, um or Kilhoman, or <coughs> I'm talking all Islas, uh, Kilhoman, Ardbeg, all those are going to be around the 40 to 50, 60 range. Uh, Lafroig as well. Um, but if you go down to 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 Bunahaven and you know some of their um, what they call non peated they're not non peated but they still have about two to five ppm in them. Uh, some of the like Springbank 12 that you tried the other day, it's got 20 ppm on it, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so th there's different there's different levels of peat that go into it. Now, Brook Lottie makes stuff that has 300 peat parts per million on it. Yeah. And that's the Octomore series, and it can be anywhere between 100 and 300. So. Well, this so. has been awesome, dude. I, I this is. I'm so grateful, buddy. Cheers for, oh, for sending sure, me man. some of the best stuff I've ever had. I mean, that's no doubt. That's that's not an exaggeration. I'm new to scotch. I love it. I want to get more into it. Uh, you and B Bourbon Battalion, y'all have really influenced me. And Bobby, we were talking about it at Shane's that time. You know, Marty, you got you to open up. You got to start looking into this. And I'm like, okay. So yeah. I'm so glad I did. Yeah. Hey, Bobby too, man. Bobby's been exploring like crazy, man. He's been wanting more and more and more from us. And so as yeah. far as ideas and things like that. And he, he seems to be really enjoying it. Too. It's cool to see both of you guys kind of jumping into that a little bit. Yeah, I love it. And Kevin's, you know, Kevin, right when I... Who is Kevin? Kevin's one of my best friends, uh, Pierce. Okay. He was in my first two videos I ever did on Whiskey right. Nose. And Christy, his wife, was in the video that Jenny did at about the same time. So, yeah, they're, they're some of our best friends. Uh, we're going, DC may know, and DC may have been there. We're going to go to AX, AX, Handle. I think that's right. AX, AX, I can't even say it without laughing. AX Handle Distillery in Pennington Gap, Virginia, next Saturday. Okay. They're supposed to be bringing in uh, a bunch of barrels for us to taste, and they're going to do a barrel pick. This is not anything spectacular. There's like... 15 of us and then i think i don't know how they narrow it down to which barrel but it, it was like 20 bucks a piece and they, they give you a glen with you know their logo on it and there's food so we're going to go over there and i'll try to do a maybe a quick little video and post of what's going on oh, that'd be uh, awesome yeah yeah but uh let me see if i can throw this up here so next friday uh, to kick off the weekend like we're doing uh if Daniel's available, uh, DC's always welcome. I'm trying to think who else has this. Uh, Bobby, if he's around, I, I know he's getting ready to start traveling. Uh, Bourbon yeah. Battalion. Yeah, he said he uh, might be uh, right close to Portugal. <laughs> yeah, that? yeah. Uh, well, I think he said 100 miles outside Portugal. And I said, where the yeah, hell is that's that? Right. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so let me see if I can get this up here. So the next Friday, here's the plan here. Uh, window. Well, hell, entire screen. I don't even see it now. Chrome tab. Well, shit. I've got to find it again. Y'all just bear with me here. Uh, because I'm so good at this. That. That is what we're doing next Friday. Awesome. And I picked the wrong one. DC is going to kill me. The chalkboard says, I love Alabama. It's yeah. a Tennessee taster. But, yeah, that's what we're going to do next Friday for kicking off the weekend. DC, I don't know why I did that wrong. Now, but, are you going to uh, have – are you going to – yeah. Yeah, guess, you should uh, have yours. Bobby should have his too, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving to Ohio tomorrow to take him his, and I'll be in Texas oh, well, Tuesday, okay, cool. and I'll bring you yours Tuesday. So, yeah, so, I, I, I don't know. That All right, you see what uh, Kilco just said? What he did uh, have was a Dino Barique. So, 
Yeah, very, very. Oh, okay. Yeah, fifty-six three percent. Gotcha. Yep. So, yep. Uh, I then said that's what um that's what you had tonight. Except oh, okay. A year, just to get a different year. So. Huh. I don't know what the fifty-six. I don't know what year fifty-six point three is, but they're. That's not it. Man, sorry. Went back to the Balcones mirror door. My God. Yeah. So. Yep. <clears throat> well, well, so long. That's probably my fault. Nah. -uh. Wait till he <laughs> does a damn live stream. There won't be a thumbs up one. But yeah, but no, I've got. We're gonna do that next Friday. Uh, I've got some uh, Bernie Lubers this Sunday at eight o'clock. Yep. Uh, it depends how long we we me and Jenny go with him. What my plan is is I've got a, I've got some good questions laid out. He he used to be and still is a comedian, so he, I'm gonna talk to him about that. How he got into whiskey, what's coming up at Heaven Hill. They just released Five Brothers, a distillery only collection you can buy. And from what I've heard and everybody else has seen, it's not very good for the sixty dollar bottle. I'm gonna well, ask. Yeah, I wanted to ask him a little bit about the private um, select barrel uh, proof stuff that they're doing. They're nine year olds. Yeah. They're doing the single barrel barrel proof uh, Elijah Craig nine year olds now uh, store picks. So one of our local shops is wanting to do one of those. So hopefully that happens pretty quickly. Yeah, that'd be real good. Yeah, and uh, chat you're like we were talking. You're, about, gonna, you're gonna do a giveaway too, huh? Oh yeah, we're gonna give away a bottle of Henry McKenna ten year for every five dollar uh, Venmo or PayPal. That's what we're gonna go with. It's just easier. Yeah. And, so that's that's the plan. Uh, what what the, the the goal here is? Like I said, it depends on how long it takes uh, with Bernie, with me and Jenny. Uh, but I was going to open up the chat, kind of like with Daniel here being live. If you're in the chat and you have a question, I will post the link. And if you have a question, I'll drop you in the green room. You pop in, you ask your question, talk to Bernie for a minute, and then we'll let the next person in. So that that's, that's kind cool. of something yeah. I want to try for guests. So. Yeah, that's that's Welcome. kind of the goal for this Sunday. Uh, September fifth, going to be on with Whiskey Central, Shayla. So I don't. We haven't decided yet what we're going to do for uh, the drinking part of it, but that's September fifth, Whiskey Central. I'm still working with Bourbon Rinse. Trevor's on vacation, been gone a little bit, so we're trying to work something out there. I sent him some samples. Of store picks, so we're going to compare his store picks to my store picks and see what we get. That's coming yeah. up. But just, just just a bunch of stuff. So I'm, I'm busy, which is good. That's why we're doing it. I love what's it. Happening? What's happening after that, man? You got anything else happening? Uh, we're going to Louisville September 16, 17, 18, 19. So we'll be up there for that. Uh, but other than that, that's that's pretty much where it starts slowing down. So I've yeah. got a, I've got a lot going on through September. So, but that's good. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, but Daniel, thank you so much, buddy, uh, from the bottom yeah, of my heart for, for all these unbelievable samples. We're not done. We're gonna we're gonna uh, be back eventually here on Daniel's time when he can, and we've got more we want to go after. He sent me some Elijah Craig barrel proofs that I do not have. I had to, I looked, and that's what he made sure I got. Yeah. Uh, the Balcones, Texas. This, 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 this dude has not had B520 or A520. or A I don't know how I missed that. I thought I had them both. But I mean, hell, I've got. You got the newer ones. You got, you got B521 and A121. I've got 12 bottles of barrel proof, and only two of them are the same. <laughs> That's no joke. Two. <laughs> that is no joke. But, dude, this, yeah. is, this is pure Tokyo. Taiwan, I, that's, yeah, I just, <laughs> it's so good, dude. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm so grateful, dude. I, I just cheers to you, Daniel. Thank you, man. Oh, you're very well, dude. I appreciate you having me, man. It was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, the like button. Uh, we'll be back Sunday night. Uh, like I said, last couple weeks, that I'm gonna do my best to keep this Friday live stream uh, a regular thing at 4:15. So. Uh, but, yeah, guys, thanks for coming on. And, Daniel, hang on. We'll, we'll keep chatting. But, guys, All love right. you. See you soon. Later, guys. All right, guys. We'll catch you soon.